Buzzacals, my name is Alcestia and welcome back to episode 3 of my Oxygen Not Included Series 1 where we queued up uh, research uh, uh, last time at the end uh, so we can go and make use of this steam vent over here we will still have a way to go but the goal is that we use the, uh, the steam or the condensed water more precisely in order to produce uh, oxygen. And we do have uh, in here some nasty gases. So what we will do is we will dig out the space here. And then on top of here we will have some tables. a gap of two Eventually this will become our mess hall, um, currently it's not a room because we need the decor for the, for the great hall um, and for the mess hall it is too big. But we have now a room where they can sit down to. down here so what we will build essentially is a water lock so the uh, gas and fluid mechanic in this game work that way that one tile can only be occupied by one solid, one liquid or one gas. So if we manage to uh, uh, place a bit of water here, then the gas flow from one side to the other is interrupted. And we have the next uh, possible um, duplicant we can choose we are looking for someone uh, which is good at researching we have uh, Mima here and Max uh, and looking at the uh, uh, traits I would definitely go with Max because uh, we will have a dedicated person for uh, artistic stuff. So, Max, welcome to the colony, and uh, we will assign you on research right away. And once he upgrades to field research, he can also uh, check out this. Uh, cool steam went so we can figure out more about the uh, active and passive cycles But as I said we still have a bit of a way to go up till there Then 
let's see, temperature wise. Okay, all this is quite on the warm side. So that's here is probably the the outer border of our colony. Can go down a bit here, but uh, is it worse? Uh, probably not. And then up here, and hopefully we can expand in this direction a bit. Have a bit more space up here. Okay, more research done. Um, then let's add a bottle amp here. Here. Okay, let's queue up the next one. Um, what else do we need? We will need this. Yeah. And. I think we can build our supercomputer so we can do uh, advanced research. Okay, uh, we want here water and we will enable auto bottling which means that they will fetch water from over here to uh, drop it down here. Otherwise they will only use uh, uh, water that they have swept up. Um, we only have one shadow s schedule, so let's add uh, a second one. Uh, turn the uh, log off for this one, and here I want to. Uh, Night time, if that's three, then downtime two, and rest is work time, and that will be our night schedule. Yeah. Um, we'll put Harold and Nails on the night schedule. That we get uh, some more, somewhat more even distribution uh, over the uh, schedules. How are we looking oxygen wise? Yes, the one oxygen diffuser did the trick for now. Um, if we would uh, rely uh, long term on it, one would not be yet sufficient. Uh, especially if we uh, grow more in, in number of uh, occupants. But for now, one seems to be enough. And our calories are still going up. So nothing. out a bit more in this direction. Temperatures over here are still okay. And we are done with the research so let's also do this one uh, which actually requires the first time the uh, supercomputer. 
the research station requires dirt uh, for doing the research and the supercomputer requires water. So that also uh, increases the, uh, our water consumption. But at the moment we still have quite quite a few sources over here, here and there and probably we could drain this down um, let's see let's put in a level also have the water up there that's basically occupying this quadrant that still has uh, moderate temperatures that we could use but getting the water out of there um, could be an issue so let's postpone that problem for later Another room sleeping over here, and we will see um, how far back the moderate temperature do go. skill points to uh, to distribute uh, Nicola improved carrying Okay, we also have someone with hypothermia. I spent too much time in cold water, probably. But I think now we get a hang on um, all this water spill here. We also get a debuff when they are running through, through the water, so that's why we are uh, knocking it up. And new printables. We have tiding, tiding building, suturing, operating building, supplying. 
Um, what are the negative traits? Small bladder, uh, not really an issue. Lutitude, uh, decreased machinery, uh, decreased athletics. That's no good. Uh, on digging, decreased excavation. That's also no good because uh, duplicants have a tendency to uh, get them into situations where they need to be uh, dug out. So let's go with uh, Liam here. And we'll sign him on a uh, tidy. And then have a look at the priorities. Right, Liam tying, uh, supplying and storing, uh, Max, Max you're our research, right? And Nicola, uh, caring. Let's do it this way. Alright, uh, we still don't have the water in here. Alright, for the um, setup, for the oxygen setup with the water we need a bit of uh, gold amalgam that we can find over here in this uh, uh, swamp biome so Organic lime and making sure that here we do not have food, dirt and slime in. Alright, uh, research is done. So what shall we do next? Um We will need uh, the hydrogen generator. And conductive wire. why we need refined metal so for that also need more research right um, well, looking okay And over here, yeah, there's there's the border of the warm or the coolish territory. So Let's draw 
draw this uh, this out a bit. Um, then over here we'll have like this one. That's the rough outline. Um. Yeah, they dumped also a bit of uh, blue water in there. Uh, but that's not really a problem. there and go this way. Ooh, and looking at the time we are over 20 minutes so this episode was a bit longer but let's call it quit here and uh, see where we go from here next time until then, goodbye.